Hi friends, welcome back to my new lecture. Today we are going to discuss about the problems on a fin. So already we have derived equation for infinite long fin. Equation for what? Equation for temperature distribution equation and heat transfer equation. So basically, so uh, infinite long fin we have already discussed. Likewise, there are three cases we are knowing. That first is infinite long fin. Second fin, uh, second type of fin is finite length with insulated tip, and third type of fin is finite length with convective tip. Okay, that three type of fins you are already knowing. We are derived this formula and we are derived this particular formula. Now, when we are going for problems on a fin, we must know all the formulas. You must know all the formulas of infinite long fin, then finite length insulated tip, and uh, finite length convective tip okay so now let's discuss one by one formula first and then we'll go for solving the problem temperature distribution equation formula for the infinite long fin it is theta upon theta 0 e raised to minus mx that shows temperature distribution equation now what is theta theta is a t minus t and theta 0 is a t 0 minus t that you are already knowing okay is equal to e raised to minus mx where m is what under root of hp by ka that's the formula whereas the heat transfer equation formula the heat transfer equation formula is q is equal to under root of hp ka area is a cross sectional area t0 minus t what is t0 t0 is base temperature or a root temperature of fin ta is the atmospheric temperature these two formula will be applicable to what will be applicable to the infinite long fin now after this if you go for another for another case that is second case in the second case also we are having a formula as like this temperature distribution equation formula theta upon theta 0 is equal to cos hyperbolic m in a bracket l minus x divided by cos hyperbolic ml that's the temperature distribution formula so by using this particular formula we are going to solve problem for temperature at various section next equation is heat transfer equation what is the heat transfer equation heat transfer equation is q is equal to under root of hpka t0 minus ta into tan hyperbolic ml this is the temper uh, this is the heat transfer equation so we have seen infinite long fin formula is this one and finite length with insulated tip is this particular formula okay then third type of case we are knowing the third type of case is this one the finite length convective tip temperature distribution formula this is very complicated formula you will be getting at the same time i will not read complete heat transfer equation heat transfer equation you will get this is again complicated formula so if you check the formulas for convective tip the formulas are very complicated one compared to other two type of the equation okay so you must remember the formula for infinite long fin formula for finite length with insulated tip and formula for finite length and convective tip and then and then only we can solve the problem otherwise it's quite difficult to solve the problem okay now same formula i have listed in other way some other formulas are also included already we are knowing governing equation of fin what is governing equation of fin governing equation of fin is theta is equal to c1 e raised to mx plus c2 e raised to minus mx okay so that's the formula Okay, so that's the governing equation for fin where theta is a T minus TA, C1 and C2 are constant, M is under root of HPK that you are knowing. Now what I have done, temperature distribution equation for all three cases written first and then heat transfer equation for all three we have written. Here we can understand a difference between the temperature distribution equation for infinite length and insulated tip. For infinite length, what is the formula? Theta upon theta 0 is equal to e raised to minus mx. That's the formula, right? For finite length insulated tip, what is there? Theta upon theta 0 is as it is. Cos hyperbolic m in bracket L minus x divided by cos hyperbolic ml. That's the formula. And for convective tip, as I told you, it will become very complicated. That I am not going to read. Similarly, we are having formula for what? Heat transfer equation. So what is there for heat transfer equation? In the heat transfer equation, infinite length, for infinite length we are having heat transfer from fin is under root of HPKA T0 minus TA that we have seen. Finite length with insulated tip, what we are having formula? Q fin 
is equal to under root of HPKA T0 minus TA tan hyperbolic ML. So if you compare this formula and this particular formula, you can see the difference. When it is insulated tip, what is added? Tan hyperbolic ML is added. Whereas previous HPKA T0 minus TA is added as it is. This area is a cross-sectional area and this area is also cross-sectional area. Okay. So what is added? Added is tan hyperbolic ML is added into the formula and for finite length convective tip this is the formula we will get it so all this formula we are going to see when we go for solving the problem now when we go for solving a problem we are going to see these three cases already we are knowing infinite long fin finite length insulated tip finite length convective tip now the problem is given of which type that we have to understand how we can understand it will be given in the problem directly or there are some keywords by which we can understand what are the keywords if in the problem they have given very long or long or infinite long then we have to understand that the problem is of infinite long fin and we have to use all formula related to infinite long I repeat if words are very long long or infinite long then the problem is of infinite long fin. Then second case, finite length with insulated tip. If in the problem it is given heat transfer from tip is zero or negligible, then we have to understand that the problem is of finite length insulated tip. Okay. And third one, finite length convective tip. If nothing is given in the problem, nothing is means what? These keywords, what I have told, very long, long, infinite long or heat transfer from tip is zero negligible. If these are not given, then we have to understand that the problem is of convective tip. This is small trick to understand or to identify which type of problem is given. Okay, so this you have to apply for solving the problem. So I have given complete background for solving the problem and now we will go for solving the problem. So let's go for first problem. The first problem is in front of you. Let's read the statement very carefully and let's write the given data. What is the problem? A theta zero. What is this theta zero? Theta zero is actually T zero minus T A that you are knowing now. The theta zero is what? T zero minus T A. So what they are given? A theta zero for circular long shaft. Remember it is long shaft of 60 mm diameter is 60 degrees Celsius. I repeat, what is the given? A theta zero for circular long shaft of 60 mm diameter is 60 degrees Celsius. So means what? They have given, they have given theta zero, theta zero for circular. So we have to understand that the cross section, cross section of the fin is what? Circular. So it's a circular cross section. Okay. Then theta zero, long shaft of diameter 60 mm so diameter of that particular shaft or that diameter of that particular fin is also given so i'll write a diameter of fin is given to you 60 mm so we required all dimension in meter so 60 mm can be converted into meter and it will become 0 0.06 meter after dividing by thousand okay 60 mm diameter is 60 degree what is 60 degree celsius theta zero is 60 degree celsius so this is given to you 60 degree celsius okay the thermal conductivity is 50 watt per meter per degree Celsius. So thermal conductivity K is given to you 50 watt per meter per degree Celsius. That's the given data. And heat transfer coefficient H is given 6.5 watt per meter square per degree Celsius. Okay. So this is what a given data. This is what given data. What is given data? Theta zero is given. Cross section is given circular. Diameter of that cross section is... 0 0.006 k is 50 h is 6.5 that's the given now what we have to determine what they have told let's check okay so develop an expression for temperature distribution equation so first of all what we have to do is we have to develop an equation so what we have to find out let's check to find develop an expression for temperature distribution so first we have to develop expression for temperature distribution 
that's the first thing we have to determine second thing what we have to determine second thing is determine total amount of heat transfer from a shaft determine total amount of heat transfer from shaft so that's what q heat transfer from thin we have to determine so first thing is we have to develop an expression second thing is we have to determine heat transfer from the thin these are the two unknowns we have to determine for solving of this particular problem let's go for solving this let's go for solving this first of all we have to go for developing an expression so let's go for solution now solution and in that first what we have to determine first what we have to determine is expression for temperature distribution expression for temperature distribution that's we have to determine how we can determine let's check for de determining this what we have to do we have to use a temperature distribution equation what we have to use we have to use temperature distribution equation what is the temperature distribution equation now in the problem first of all we have to identify which case of fin is present so if you check out the problem very carefully this is problem they have given a long shaft so whenever such kind of word comes long shaft very long then we have to identify that this is infinite long fin. this is what infinite long fin so what we have done we have assumed that infinite long fin why we have assumed infinite long fin because in the problem they are not given specific type but they have mentioned that the shaft is long and that's why it will be infinite long fin so temperature distribution equation for infinite long fin if you remember the equation is theta upon theta zero is equal to e raised to minus mx that's the equation that's the equation of temperature distribution theta upon theta zero e raised to minus mx now if I have to determine or if I have, what we have to do, we have to develop an expression. For developing an expression, I have to put as many values as present in this particular equation. So in this equation, what we have to determine? We have to determine m and we have to check about theta and theta zero. So let's determine m first of all. What is m? m is under root of hp by ka and area is a cross-sectional area. Area is what? Cross-sectional area. So under root of hp by ka if I am knowing all the terms, I can determine M. So if you check out a given data, in the given data, H is given. H is given. K is given. Perimeter and cross-sectional area, we can determine it. They are not going directly, but they are going diameter. So we can determine perimeter and perimeter and what? The area. What will be perimeter? It's a circular cross-section. So circular cross-section will be having perimeter as pi d. Whereas the cross-sectional area of circular is nothing but pi by 4 d square. Right, pi by 4 d square. So I can put this pi d here and pi by 4 d square here. Or otherwise, I can determine separately and I can put over here. So what I will do now, I will determine m first. How we can determine? Let's put all the values in this m formula. What is h given? In the h, in the formula, in the particular problem, h is given 6.5, k is given 15. So h is given to you 6.5 perimeter is what pi d pi into diameter is what 0 0.06 divided by divided by k a k is a 50 into area area is a pi by 4 d square what is d 0 0.06 okay so if you determine by the calculation m should come about 2.94 so we have determined m why we are determining m because i want temperature distribution equation so i have to put over here i have to put here so now in this particular equation what i am going to do i am going to simplify i am going to write theta is equal to t minus t m theta zero what is theta zero theta zero is given in the problem which is 60 okay so theta zero i am going to put 60 theta i am going to put t minus t a e raised to m i am going to put 2.94 and x as it is after putting all this whatever equation we get that particular equation is called as a temperature distribution equation or temperature distribution formula okay let's put first of all theta theta is a t minus t a theta 0 theta 0 is given to you 60 is equal to e raised to minus m m we are determined 2.94 x okay so that's what equation we have got and this particular equation is called as temperature distribution equation for the current problem 
why it's called temperature distribution we can put a value of x and i can determine the temperature t okay that's the first thing that's the first thing what we have to determine second in second we have to determine heat transfer we have to determine heat transfer and heat transfer as we have discussed that heat transfer we are we have already considered that it's infinite long fin so as it is infinite long fin the formula if you remember heat transfer from fin is nothing but under root of h p k a cross sectional t0 minus t t0 minus t that's the formula we are going to use it now we are knowing h we are knowing p we are knowing k we are knowing a and t0 minus t a t0 minus t a is what theta 0 t0 minus t is what theta 0 which is going to be 60 so let's put all the values let's put all the values and determine the q fin h as it is given 5.6 perimeter is pi into d so pi into d i have kept k is given to you 50 cross sectional area is a pi by 4 d square so it will be point zero six square okay into outside root outside root we are having 60 why 60 because it's theta 0 is given 60 so if you calculate this we will get heat transfer from fan so it must come 24.97 you can do your own calculation for determination of this so but q fin will come 24.97 watt okay this was the first problem of the fin thank you very much for listening